Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. And this is another little quick gossip chat. Who said that? Anybody? Somebody? Nobody? Mainly Trina. Trina said that. Okay, but before we get into that, first things first, if you have not done so already, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and look at my whole Jay Bird. Jay Bird. Dun, 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 and all that goodness and stuff. Um, take a breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And then relax, relate, release. Okay? We know it's, it's tough, honey. I know. So we're going to get through all this together. Okay? You can also remember to comment. Wait, no like this video comment in the comment section to also share on your social media which is on facebook and twitter also do not forget to hit that notification bell because you have to hit the bell so they can tell you when i have new videos up and if your bell ain't working unclick it then re-click it okay i'm um, also to follow me on ig and on twitter at j underscore leaves underscore corner is all greatly appreciated and all of that information is down below in the description box. Now, I did a, a gossip chat yesterday or whatever, yesterday or whatever. And there were a couple of people in the comment section like, oh my God, I hate your, um, the sound effects. I hate when you keep, you know, adding in words in between each thing. I be think, look, look, okay. If you are listening to this on your phone, that's on you. I appreciate you listening to me, but you cannot assume because you're listening on your phone that people who are watching it and reading when I'm putting words up on the screen because it's entertainment, that's on you, bro. But look, my comment section is not for you to come and say what you don't like about my goddamn video. You know how much time it takes to edit and put a goddamn who, who, who sound in to ask who the hell need 14 bathrooms. You know how much it takes to, time it takes to critique and edit and cut and paste all that shit. So I don't really need you in my comment section telling me that you don't like it. I don't give a fuck. Okay? Love you. Be blessed, but I don't care. Like, that's not what the comment section is for. If you don't like how I edit my videos, you do not have to watch. You do not. I like the times when I put in a couple of little things, little sound effects, because it makes it funny. Okay? If you don't like it, that's cool. Keep that to yourself. Because otherwise, I just block your comments because it was an unnecessary comment. I don't know why y'all feel the need to say, I don't like how your video is too long. I don't like when your video is too short. I don't like when you, you know, put sound effects in. I don't, I don't care what you don't like. I really don't. If your comment is not your opinion on what I was talking about, okay, what I'm talking about, don't put that in the comment section because I don't. Give a fuck. Love you. Be blessed. Let's move on. Okay. I just, because I was like, people really was kind of, I don't like that. You don't need that. That is too much. That's corny. Well, fuck you. Okay. It's like, who does that? I mean, y'all, people out here being murdered, y'all worry about a goddamn sound clip. The fuck out of here. Love you. Anyway, so it wasn't that much more going on, like two or three things or whatnot. So let's get into it. Okay, we all know what the main thing is. Trina. Honey, Trina was out here, honey, just not even knowing what to do with herself. It's going down the wrong road, the wrong road, okay? So Trina and Trick was on their little morning show, a daytime show. I don't know what time show, come on, but their radio show, okay? And they were talking about, you know, things that's going on, the protests and the, un the, the uneasiness of the world, the killing, all, all the things, okay, the, the riots, all that was being discussed. And Trina just... Honey, I don't know if she woke up on the wrong side of the bed or if she really honestly believes the things that she was saying on the radio. You know, now, when talking about the curfew that's in Miami, you know, she was reading what the curfew was, and she literally said the curfew should be 6 p.m. Keep these animals off the street who are acting like they escaped from a zoo. 
Okay, she then brought up, when they brought up, you know, cops murdering black people, she then, cause, because Black Lives Matter, she then said, does the black lives of people who kill other black people matter? Do they, do they matter too? And I'm like, she gonna just keep, she kept going. Then when Trick was like, you know, we have the the right to not be driving around, you know what I'm saying, and get scared uh, when we get pulled by a cop, the cop may kill us. She then, out of her own two lips and new teeth said, you know what I'm saying, I am never scared because I have my driver's license, I have my registration, and I have my car insurance, and I know my rights. I said, bitch, do you not see what's going <laughs> I'm not in the whole time they're talking. Trick is in as Trina saying these dumb things. Trick is trying like Trina wrong road, wrong road. But she just kept driving down this wrong ass road, and I'm like, I just don't get what's wrong with her. This is my thing. I can understand Trina saying the people who are looting. And really, as we see video of people looting like crazy people, because we've seen that, it's one thing to say, those people who are looting and crazy, keep their ass at home. But don't be out here calling people's animals. Don't be out here come out, you know, when they, they escape from the zoo. Just the, the, the word that she used was uncalled for. I get her being upset because people should not be looting. Okay, it's been days and days and every day somewhere else they looting. It was what she said and how she said it that made it so inappropriately just tone deaf and dumb and I'm like I don't get why she's not hearing what she's saying and seeing it's an issue with what you're saying because again the people who are protesting are protesting peacefully the looters and the and the rioters that's a, a different thing or whatever but people are pissed and I seen someone post today you know we have been put through so much this is what Taya looks like Okay, and, and what we see on the news is what Tanya looks like. And we know there are people who are taking advantage of it, and they don't care about nothing. But Trina just kind of made a blanket statement as if it was about, you know, the whole thing. And she's like, you know, I don't care, you know, they some fake protesting, and they don't really care about George Floyd. I'm looking like, what is you doing? And the whole time... She was like, Trina, I don't think you want, I can say what I want to say, okay? I mean, but I say, I know my rights. I, and I'm like, she just, she just, she going and she going and she going. She then brings up how a friend of hers store or stuff was damaged, okay? It was broken into and, and rioted and looted or whatever. And she's upset about that because the friend was already scratching and surviving, trying to have a good time. And now that the person's store has been looted and booted or whatever, she's having e even more financial difficulties. And I like how Trick said, people who have these businesses, they have insurance for these kind of situations. Now, if your friend didn't have insurance, that's her fault. That's her fault. You are supposed to have insurance because you just never know what can happen. If you have a house, a car, insurance is just in case shit happens. So, if you was already struggling business-wise and you didn't have insurance, girl... That's so sad. And she been off work and she ain't working 30 days. A lot of people haven't worked in a long time. Trina, but it's like you can't be out here taking it personal. And Trick brought up how, you know, you take everything personal. I do. I do. Because my friend, you know what I'm saying, she, she ain't got money like me. Trina, how, if you, well, then give her some. If you if she don't have money like you and you were so upset that she was scratching and surviving and couldn't for her own bills, then loan her some money, Trina, please and thank you. And when she brought up how her brother was killed years ago uh, by another black man, like why y'all are so upset when you said other races kill us, but y'all ain't upset when black folks kill us. And I hate when people try to compare the two. No one is saying one is better than the other. But it's different when the people who are supposed to be protecting you is killing you. That's the point. That's the point I think she don't get. And it was just like, girl, I just intrigued. Like, I'm not trying to compare your brother to what's going on. But Trina was just so in her feelings that she just kept over talking them, yelling the fuss and cussing. And I'm like, girl, just calm the fuck down. But she didn't. And old Twitter had a good old time going off on her. And they wanted to cancel Trina because, again, it was her, her comments were very, very insensitive now we then seen because the, the twitter was going off and jumps masika kalisha i feel like whenever anything is happening she just sitting at home ready to pounce okay just to pounce on look 
sometimes she needs to mind her own business. Because whenever, it just, I feel like she's always in stuff. And for no reason. And she's always, um, you know, reading people and going off people and, and saying things. I'm looking like, why are you not mind your business, Miss Kalisha? And Trina kind of felt the same way. You know, she's like, you know, you don't know me. So why are you speaking about me? Because Miss Kalisha came up, you know, with Kaya. Please get her. And she was just going off and off and off. And was saying just some not nice things um, about Trina. I'm like, oh, y'all really don't like, y'all don't rock with it at all. And when Trina brought up how, you know, you don't know me. So, politely, shit the fuck up. Um, it was just, I'm trying to find the exact thing she was saying. Because I was very, very shocked at it all. Because, again, they were going back and forth on Twitter. Um, to the point, I ain't gonna, I can't find it, but to the point where it's like, I'm gonna pull up and beat your ass or whatever. Oh, Trina, you acting like an animal. And the whole back and forth, I believe she may have even called, oh, one part I can't find. She's like, oh, you gonna run up? She's like, this old ass crumb trying to raise me barefoot, ill-equipped, ill, 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 Ill-equipped, out of shape and unfit. Um, you, you, <laughs> you poor, <laughs> your poor thumb just shaking, trying to think. I want to say the whole world is dragging you and I love it. Um, but to me, I feel like, Masika, that ain't, why would you even get involved? Like, what was the point of you jumping in it? And then even to jump in it in your first, her first comment was, you know, saying, you know, Kaya, get her. Again, Masika, mind your business, bitch. Okay, we, I, I don't like Masika. And not in a way like I want her to like go away and never return. I mean, I want her to go away. And shut up. And if she returns, she just knows how to act. I don't like how when she um goes for people, she, I don't like when anyone's fussing and cussing and they then start degrading the other person versus just saying what you don't like about what they said. I feel like Masika can't have an intelligent conversation sometimes because she is riddled with, you know, you old bitch that, you old, you look like this, you look like that. I don't like all that. So I didn't care about, you know, Masika Kalisha coming and saying whatever. Trina was like, you know, go figure out who your baby daddy is, bitch. You don't want it with me or whatever. I'm like, Trina, calm down, my, because you was wrong. So, again, it was just team too much. And then, you know, Kaya still, in a way, was kind of involved because then Kaya was saying little slick shit or whatever. And we know she's going to go on a little gag with her show and say everything she wants to say. And Trina did reply and said, I ain't got time for this old gold mouth bitch. She said, "Where about your book, your your bookshelf room?" I say, "Well, Trina, you know that's true. She, Kaya, do have a little book bookshelf room, but Kaya was mainly going in on Shakana." And I'm like, "What kind of trifecta shit is this?" And she was going in on Shakana because Shakana and the whole Gucci things or whatever. And she went on a whole little rant on gag order about Shakana. And I feel like I agree with Shakana's response, which was. Kaya is consistently dragging other black women and, de- and and being degrading towards other black women and just speaking down on other black women regardless. So it's a way to critique people and call them on their bullshit without being so negative and saying such harsh things. I think I'm able to do that. I think Bonnie does that. I know, um, um, Rocks does that as well. Does that as well, and it's a way to still go off on someone and call them on their bullshit, but not just be so mean and rude with the bullshit. And Kaya is a person who consistently does that all the time, so I don't subscribe to anything that Kaya does, says, or, or is involved in um, at all. But I feel like just you know, Masika and Kaya are the same kind of people. You know what I'm saying? And regardless of anything, we know what Trina said was wrong, what 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 Shekana said was stupid, but at the same time, just tell them that y'all dumb. You dumb. And until you can acknowledge what you said was problematic, then we ain't fuck with you right now. But I mean, all the actions of it all, the cussing and, and bum bitches and all this, I'm like, it's, I mean, I don't know who all on the screen has a lot of money. I mean, Trina may have the most, she potentially may have the most, but I mean, if her most is 200 grand, like, what does that matter? But I mean, it's just messy boots all around. And I'm like, I just want Kaya to just go somewhere. I want Masika to go, go somewhere. I want Trina to shut the fuck up and not to ever come out saying what she said because it was dumb. It was really, 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 really dumb. But the funny part was when Kaya and when Kaya was speaking on Shekinah and when Shekinah was, was replying, 
she, she said, you know, you, you a broke fat bitch and you bad built, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, she kind of called Kaya a black demon. Okay. Kept calling her cock a doo doo. I said, cock a doo doo doo. It was just team too much. And I'm like, I just don't get, and even once to kind of see, you know, Kaya is consistently coming from my body shape. However, she went to the same doctors that I went to, to get my body done. So she was like my body. And I'm like, y'all all out here getting the same bodies. It's just team too much. Um, team too much. Um, we, she kind of also apologized for her. I think I, I felt like her apology was bullshit because she said, I just hate when people take what somebody say and take out of context or whatever. And I'm like, no, you said what you said. Even Trina saying people, you know, that, that was cut and pasted together. Even it don't matter if somebody cut and paste what you said, you still said what you said. Okay. And you can't apologize by trying to say, well, you know, y'all edited my comments. No, bitch, you said your comments and they played that shit. Run it back, okay? But I'm like, whatever. Um, Wendy's. Because I think about what, what else I was going to talk about. Wendy's, it was, look, I like a good chicken sandwich from Wendy's. I really do love it. And I was very upset when I heard that Wendy's was like donating to that orange man in the house. It's a color rice. Um, I'm like, he don't, they did what? What did he don't, what, what? I was like, bitch, I can't, I can't get no chicken sandwiches. No more spicy chicken sandwiches. I'm like, that's messed up, but I can't, I don't want to. I, I know there are a lot of organizations who probably support that man and we have no idea. But I feel like once you know, it's your choice to continue to support someone who's supporting something that you don't believe in. So I was done with the Wendy's chicken sandwich or whatever. And I found out, oh, it wasn't Wendy's. Okay. It was not Wendy's. It was actually, um, a franchise of Wendy's. People know that you have the people who own like Wendy's itself, but you have people who buy into the, um, corporation and then they can have, what they got? They can have um, their own franchise. So a franchise owner, okay, a franchise owner of, it just disappeared. A franchise owner of Wendy's is who did donate to that man, but it wasn't Wendy's in, gen- in general. So you have to look up as M U Y, no, it's M U, is M U, yeah, M U Y restaurants. And you can see the restaurant that that franchise owns and where they are in your neighborhood. So you can know like there are Wendy's in Michigan, at least even in Detroit and even in, you know, in Warren or whatever that that man owns. I just know not to go to them because it'll tell you which ones there are. So if you have heard that, okay, yeah, supposedly, you know, these restaurants have done it. Make sure that you do your research and that you're not um, being told something that's not actually factually true because again in Wendy's case it wasn't true and Wendy's then also made a statement saying you know that was not us you know that had nothing to do with us with with Wendy's itself that was a franchise of it and yeah you was you you can't you you would hope they would be able to have something in, in contract a franchise that you okay you can't do this but you can't do that either because you know that's that person's right to support who they support okay uh privately even though they own these restaurants. Um, but Wendy's then donate like, I think like 500 grand to different charities to, you know, for the call. So again, make sure that before you're believing things that you kind of research it to be sure of what's going on. Um, my screen's got really, really bright. Cause I just put up one thing. The NBA is going to be back so they are bringing the nba series it will surprise us come let's come back um in july it'll be 22 games okay and what it said was the nba is back okay and it was trending on twitter basically because um the nba will be having the game starting july 31st in florida at the walt disney resort now i'm like are the games gonna be held there too i was a bit confused or whatever now an nba insider was on twitter and gave us some some details or whatever saying how you know there would be you know nine teams for the eastern conference and then 13 for the western conference and each team will play eight regular season games and then possibly uh play an in tournament um play in tournament for the eighth uh seed and then the playoffs 
Um, and the teams are, because it's only 22 of 30 teams. You know, we have 30 NBA teams. Only 22 got to make it. I mean, my Pistons didn't make it, but I guess that's what it is. So, it's the Milwaukee Bucks, uh, Toronto Raptors, Boston Celtics, uh, Miami Heat, Indiana Pacers, Philadelphia 76ers, the Brooklyn Nets, Oakland Magic, and the Washington Wizards. And then for the Western Conferences, it is the Los Angeles, the Los Angeles Lakers, the Clippers as well. I'm like, oh, why I lost Alice got two teams? But I got digressed. Uh, the Denver Nuggets, the Utah Jazz, Oklahoma City Thunder, um, Houston Rockets, Dallas Mavericks, Memphis Grizzlies, Portland Trails, the Portland Trails Blazers, New Orleans Pelicans, the New Orleans Pelicans. Okay, and the Sacramento Kings, San Antonio, the San Antonio Spurs, and then the Phoenix Suns. Now, the details of how this would happen was like pretty, you know, I mean, detail is that the teams will begin training at each team site starting in July and they will advance the full training camps in Orlando in later in July. And it says now while on the Walt Disney Land Resort, players can will have very strict guidelines to ensure social distancing. Okay, it says while players and coaches will be allowed to golf and to eat at outdoor restaurants in Disney. Okay. They will also be required to maintain social distancing. And then it also brought up how no staff will be allowed into the players' rooms and hallways will be carefully managed to avoid crowdings. And the teams are reported to play all day long in a summer league-like format until the playoffs begin. And I mean... I guess that's a good thing. And someone also brought up how the playoffs will look more like what we are used to as they always play four games a day on Saturdays and Sundays. Um, but, you know, other than that, it may be a little bit different. I mean, I think a lot of people are going to be happy about that because people are just missing sports. And they kept wondering, when will sports come back? When will sports come back? And I was like, girl, I don't know. Um, the last thing I can comment on, because, again, it was not much stuff that, you know, kind of was going on. The bad Barbie chick. I think I have her picture around here somewhere. Do I have a little picture of the little girl? Yep, I do. Now, that's her when she was on Dr. Phil, okay? And I just feel like that's the picture that I, I, I want to use because she's a kid. A whole little kid, okay? Now, her real name is Danielle Bergoli. Okay, and she's now 17. And she recently, you know, checked into rehab to assess some issues that she's having. And then she says it's for personal issues that she's receiving treatment for a combination of things, childhood trauma, but also substance abuse in the forms of prescription pills. Um, I feel like we have known ever since she was like, you know what I'm saying, catch me outside, how about that? Since then, since then or whatever, she's had issues. I think anyone who assumed that that girl had all her wits about her or she was not, you know, hurting in some sort of way is blind and crazy, okay? Um, and they say she's been there for the past few weeks. And that may be why she was off, off social media. Now, she has been on social media for just do all kind of foolishness um, over the years. I think when she was first on his show, she was like maybe 14 or 15. And so, she's now 17. And it's just kind of crazy. Now, the team, her team, released a statement on her IG saying Danielle has been working hard for the past few years and made a positive decision to take some much needed time to off to attend to some personal issues. For past week, she's been in a treatment center receiving and continuing to receive professional support. She loves her fans and has promised to return better and healthier than ever. Please respect her privacy and her, look, we all, we all, we all know that. But I feel like she has been just problematic for a while. Okay, and I feel like she just needs help. And I feel like when she comes out, if she's the same little ruler ever that she was before, then I mean, you we really can't feel like, oh my god, she needed help and someone helped her. No, she was a badass kid, and she continued her badass behavior, and then she made money from it, and then it got worse and worse and worse, and now she has to go sit her ass down and I feel like the fact that she was on Dr. Phil the way she acted we knew that she had some kind of childhood trauma but I feel like people around her capitalized off of her idiot behavior and now that she's a bit older because now she's 17 and she's sitting down somewhere go sit down but I do wish that she gets help she needs and that she comes back a better person not the same you know what I'm saying I want to be accepted by any any means necessary and I'm going to just act like you know what I'm saying 
I just, I ain't, I didn't like that girl. Lastly, is what, what was really lastly. You know, we, I talked about Amanda Seals who, um, chose to leave the real. Okay. She announced that on her IG, um, on her IG live and people were going in trying to say how, oh, you know, there must've been issues between her and the girls. Oh, you know, Lonnie must've probably got her fired. All these things. And I like how Amanda came out and immediately was like, look, don't try, try to spin that wheel and cause some kind of fake drama between me and ladies. Like it had nothing to do with that. Um, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do and it has nothing to do with them. And, I don't have beef with anybody, leave it be. I think so many people don't like Amanda. They're looking for a reason as to her, oh, she must have been fired. Or And I don't think that's what it was. Anybody who have watched The Real before and after, Amanda was a different person for that show. The Real is a cookie cutter show that doesn't really tackle big issues at all. They don't, they don't know how to do that. And like I said in my video yesterday, Amanda seem to have, have been being silenced and I feel like anyone who even doesn't like her has to get how frustrating that can be for anyone to feel stifled to feel like they you know I can't express myself and I feel like when you're on a show called The Real you would should want someone's real opinion and I agree because I was watching Bonnie's um recap earlier Amanda would be great on The View she would be, she would be absolutely amazing on the view because the issues discussed on the view are issues that she would be able to speak on. And I feel like on the view, you know, she could replace joy because joy keeps saying how she wants to leave anyway, because you know, she's getting older and everything older, not old, she's getting older. Um, and with Amanda still being a comedian, you know, but she also has a voice. I think she would be great. Um, to, I know they would not bring her on if Joy was still there, mainly because that would make uh, Megan feel, oh my God, there's only me by myself. Oh no, please help me. Please help me. I'm Megan McCain. And all that bullshit. But I do feel like if Joy was to choose to leave, I would hope they could bring in someone like Amanda. Even though they may even bring in um, Nicole Yvette Brown. Or is it Yvette Nicole Brown. What's her name? Um, I can't think of... Is it Yvette? I think it's Yvette Nicole Brown. They may think to bring her in the suit. I f they need to add another black woman. That's just my opinion. And I know it was Whoopi and Sunny. Um, and Sunny's, she, I think she's after Latina, if I'm not mistaken. But I feel like Amanda would just work for that show. Um, if we can sit there and hate Amanda, not Amanda, if we can sit there and, and hate Megan, y'all can hate uh, Amanda on that show too. I would love, I would love her on that show. She would probably make uh that girl quit she would make um Melissa, not, oh, Melissa Lord Jesus well she's a Karen anyway she would make Megan quit and I would love to see it so yeah I'm not um going to act like oh my god Amanda been gone it's so I, I could see it coming I was hoping the show would allow her to be her full self give that show a different twist and I feel like I don't know again how the show will like what y'all gonna do without her like are y'all going to and I mean that is in if y'all go back to the same cookie cutter you know stuff before then y'all wasn't ever trying to change in the first place and if y'all try to address these real issues Tam and Adrian is going to have to speak up just saying anyway again it wasn't much but I wanted to kind of take y'all out of things or whatever and this may be all over the place I don't care Um. anyway I'm going back to work tomorrow well, today, because it's 3.30 in the morning. Um, so, we'll see how that goes. I'll probably try to give y'all a, a car conversation uh, to or from work tomorrow. But be blessed. Be safe. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe. All that goodness and stuff. You know, follow me on IG on Twitter. J underscore, J underscore, underscore corner. And until next time, people. Peace.